Hey everyone, this is a uh, quick little video here uh, in regards to my 5 gallon bucket cloner. Um, I updated it a little bit. If you remember in my other video, I had only 7 sites and I have now increased it to 21 sites, which is so much better because I wanted this to be dedicated to cloning only. I was not planning to go to harvest or bloom or whatever with any of my plants with this thing, so I thought, hey, it makes more sense to get more sites and then, you know, transplant to soil later. So that's what I did, and I wanted to give a tip to save some money on the, uh, for the neoprene collars uh, that you have to buy, you know, for the net cups. <sighs> They're pretty expensive, those uh, neoprene collars, so I decided, what the heck, I'm going to try and make my own. So what I did was I took, um, here, let me find them, these strips of foam from Lowe's, right here, it's just foam, um, 97 cents each for a strip like this. I only had to use, I believe, one and a half of them to make 21 clone sites. See, that's them, and I used a permanent marker to paint them black so light would not uh, sh shine through so easily. And uh, they work great. The hole sizes are 1.5 inches with a 1.5 inch hole saw. And um, to get the foam uh, inserts the right size so they, you know, fit in there and don't, you know, fall through or whatever. What I did was is I took a pill bottle right here. It's exactly 1.5 inches across and I used a Sharpie marker to draw circles and by drawing a circle around the pill bottle it creates a perfect amount of cushion to be able to push those foam inserts into the holes without them falling through. Um, the only thing that might be a little bit of a frustration sometimes is pulling them out. Like, you know, you have to kind of get under there and sometimes I don't want to, um, you know, risk messing it up or whatever. And so you have to go underneath and then push it up like that. And, uh, you know, and then for the uh, slice through or whatever, just use a knife, um, actually scissors, to slice, you can't even see it, um, all the way down into the middle. And then used a different type of knife to kind of make a little hole there in the center so the, you know, stem would sit in there. So that's pretty much it. I'm much uh, more satisfied with this version being a cloner. I don't have many roots on a lot of my plants, but there it's definitely working so far. So um yeah, I'm happy with it and I'm so glad I ditched my old setup which is right here with seven sites only and they're three inches. Um not worth it if you're just cloning. If you're going to harvest, sure, if you're doing vegetables or tomatoes or something, you could go to harvest in that in that size. But for what I'm doing, cloning, this is much more efficient. So that's all. Hope this video helped out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And feel free to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nothing ever could separate us. Nothing ever could separate us. Nothing ever could separate us. Nothing